What kind of monster can do that? And get away with it. It is still one of the most heinous crimes Lakewood has ever seen. A 10 year old boy stabbed to death in a park after a day of playing in Bear Creek with his friends. Jacob McKnight's killer was never found. And tonight in this installment of Project Unsolved, Liz Gillardi shows us why police are still looking at the same suspects decades later. 26 years later, a childhood friend says she's still haunted by the face of a man she saw in this park that day, and police say they're not ruling him out. Looking at this park, it's hard to imagine the horrific killing that happened here 26 years ago. Brutal. It was beyond brutal. Jacob McKnight stabbed two dozen times. He was just a little kid. We were just kids. A community's sense of safety rocked like never before. It was all over the news. Of course it was. A 10-year-old boy murdered. Jacob loved playing in this park by the creek, catching minnows. He went to Bear Creek Elementary and had a loving family. It appears to be a crime of, of rage. His body was left in the popular Bear Valley Greenbelt, a spot where he played earlier that day with his friend Rachel. It was an ordinary day that ended anything but. Rachel is now a mom. She has a son. Having a son the same age absolutely makes me think about it a lot more. Only 11 years old, she remembers when Jacob didn't come home that night. And she remembers something else. There were a couple older guys on some pretty nice bikes. One of those guys, a known pedophile, John Felix Chin. He was out on bond at the time. I remember one of them kept making comments about Jacob's eyes. Do you ever remember seeing this guy? Or? Lakewood police know Chin. He was a suspect almost right away. John himself admits to being in the park that day. But Lakewood Police Detective Brian Fike says it's not that simple. He knows the case well. He even remembers it as a little boy. I remember not being able to go outside by myself. Um, parents were very protective, uh, not knowing if the perpetrator was, was still there. When we interviewed Jacob's family back in the 90s, they wanted nothing more than an arrest. I want to see uh, some people in prison. This has got some of the on-scene observations of the officers. Detective Fike says one thing in this case has remained unchanged. There's been a group of suspects uh, throughout the years. That group is still the same today, including Chen. This certain group has been talked to numerous times, and they have not been consistent in their account. Um, there's definitely a deception. Police have reports that Jacob was at this nearby 7-Eleven with someone, possibly Chen, the night he went missing. It's hard to say. Um, we know that John Felix Chin was in the park, and we know he did have contact with Jacob McKnight on the day of his death. Rachel is convinced. When Chin was locked up on child porn charges in 2012, she saw his picture in the paper and threw up. You think one of the men yes. killed him? Yes. One of the men that talked to you yes. that day? In my heart, I do believe that, yes. Three individuals per lane. Evidence has been the biggest challenge. Police never found the murder weapon, and a heavy rainstorm that night washed away valuable evidence and possible DNA. It's not what you know, it's what you can prove. The answers are out there. I don't, I don't doubt that. Someone knows what happened to little Jacob, and police still hope to find the killer. It would be the, the most satisfying arrest that I could make. It would mean that Jacob wasn't forgotten. It would mean that his parents were able to see justice. I mean, if you can even call it that, I don't know if I would be able to call it justice after 26 years. And we did make attempts to reach out to Chin's public defenders and the Department of Corrections, but have not heard back. There's really been a lot of frustration with this case. I reached out to retired Lakewood Police Chief Charlie Johnston. He was chief back in the 90s, and he told me he thinks about Jacob and his family all the time. He says he's probably 99% sure who committed this crime, but they were never able to get it to the point of prosecution. Mm -hmm. And he says that's, quote, one of the worst parts of his career. Yeah, Old and family. I remember this, and it, it just struck everybody. It was so hard on the community as well.
so many people remember. Yeah. We've been hearing yeah. that on Absolutely. Facebook all night. Yeah. So uh, tragic. Thanks for that. Thank you. Thank you. All right, Mike.